What is up guys? Kevin here from Fashion Forward Always. I have a very, very special delivery from Dober Street Market. Alright, I'm gonna stop being obnoxious now. Okay, so DSM They got me the Marzu Yarzu. Oh. So if you guys don't know Mars Yard 2.0s came out. I'm hella excited for this, big boys. Oh, came with, yeah, like I heard that some stores didn't have um, the duct tape, but. Hmm? Yeah, so I got this from DSM. Sadly, it's not my size, but I am gonna be trading up to my size, so this is more of like a first look slash unboxing rather than a full-on review. I'm gonna be doing a lot of tests with this shoe. I'm gonna see if it holds up after months because I'm actually planning to keep these shoes. Um, yeah, because I think they just look cool. So, here is the top of it. All right, so here is the front side. It was $200 US retail. And here's the side of it with the duct tape. And here's the bottom. Mmm. Yep, so let's crack this bitch open. Ooh. Okay. So here they are. They look so nice. The suede's actually pretty good. And, ooh, okay. So the leather on the heel's actually really nice too. I mean, for 200 bucks, I'd, I freaking hope it's nice. So, what they changed from the 2.0 from the 1.0 is one, they replaced the material instead of it being that super, super fragile. I think it was called, give me one second. So the 1.0's was actually made from, I think, Vectren. It's like an airbag material from the Mars rover and Tom Sachs said in an interview one He didn't know how the product was gonna act so like the 1.0 he's speaking on the 1.0 So the 1.0 it's notorious for being super fragile So basically what he did is that he wore these shoes multiple iterations of it for however many years and he was testing it making sure that this 2.0 version was durable. Also, another reason why they didn't choose the airbag material is because I believe the retail for the first one was around like 300 to 400 US dollars, mainly because of that material. It was just so expensive. So they opted for a durable mesh that has an inner little like woven lining inside of it. Um, I'm hoping that this is more durable. It looks and feels more durable. Uh, but originally, I honestly like the look of the 1.0s, mainly because it looks so streamlined. This is a bit of a wider mesh. Um, so let's get into the details. Here is the back side of the tongue. You guys can pause and read that if you guys want. So here's basically the shoe. Let me take out the insoles of both shoes. A lot of these like new like Nike Lab releases smell really nice. Like I don't know if it's just me. So here is the insoles. Here are the two woven insoles that are included. You can pause that if you wanted to read it. Oh, it looks like the whole bottom is lined with that mesh as well. So it's literally hugging your entire foot. I've heard from people that you should go half size down for these. So I'd be looking at probably getting like an eight or like a seven and a half if even. Um, I'm sorry I can't do an on foot. My size sold out immediately from DSM and I was only able to get these, but I am gonna be trading these up or trading these down, I guess. So I will be doing an extensive review of these later on in the future. So, wait, I forgot to show you guys the cork sole. One of the coolest things about this release. Here are the cork soles. I honestly wish they also included the leather sole like they did on the 1.0, but you know, oh well. Like shit hit the fan, okay, whatever. Just this whole thing. So it it looks like most of the materials were the same. Maybe the suede quality a little bit different. 
Um, but the biggest material that changed is obviously, you know, the lining and stuff like that. Like I've had people tell me that their tongues ripped from just putting it on and this seems a lot more durable. I'm glad, he, even Tom Sachs said that he went through I think eight pairs of these throughout the years and he upgraded and with each iteration he wore it longer and longer and I think he is finally happy with this iteration. Um, and hopefully I'm happy with it too because I really want to wear these. I might even sell off like like Yeezys or something like that just to mentally afford to keep these because resale on these are pretty high. They're going for around $600, $700 right now and a part of me is like resell it but another part of me is like Kevin, you know your ass wants these. I might even sell up my John Elliott um, Vandal, so like DM me on Instagram or like hit up my grail DMs in the description below if you guys do want those They're both in a size 8. I have both colorways. I'm even thinking I don't know like I might just sell those just so I can keep these It's just I don't know. It's just I've become a fuck boy. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching I'll be having a full review of this up in maybe a few weeks This has just been a quick look slash unboxing of this I really like the shoes even though I haven't worn them. They look awesome Like I think these just like it's just the whole vibe of it. I just love it. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace